Oh, oh no, it's a black screen. <laughs> Good start. Hey everyone, welcome back to it's the late night stream. I could, uh, just not gonna be that very long. Just gonna jump on for a little bit, have a couple battles here, and then try and go to bed. But anyway, there we go. I think everything's working now. Looks like it is. Let's go. Got a container. What's in it? Something good? Something helpful? Oh, it's gonna be. <clears throat> Alright, sorry, hold on. I'm just peeling an orange. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important before you go into sea battles to have a proper amount of vitamin C. Alrighty. Maybe one second. We need to get some other things set up here. Hmm. Alright, so, uh, yeah. I think what we're gonna do is just go into a couple of random battles here. And uh, see if we can sink some ships tonight. So let's just get everything set up. Hmm, let's see what this championship one is about. Okay. Hello, Thomas. Hey. Hey. I think we will be the Agano for right now. this one <laughs> that was that was music selected by the uh, former captain of the ship Alrighty, so what are we doing on this one? I believe we're just liberating some islands. It's the, uh... Action stations! The Great Snowy Island Battle. One that we always suck at. <laughs> oh no. Awaiting instructions! Oh, yeah. I hope you're all prepared. Because I am about to show you the world. It's, uh... Shining, shimmering, and splendid. go kind of slow and let these suckers <laughs> push ahead and uh, absorb some of the horrible enemy fire while we sneak in at the end and destroy everybody. We're not target that mountain and fire. <laughs> Someone trying to come around the, this island. Sneaky bastard. Alright, let's. Full speed ahead! As we ride into glory. Something over here. Get ahead. 
be your no torpedoes. Too close. That stupid eye. Fools. Those fools cannot point it. Hey bird. Alright, who's our next contestant? There it is. Shit. <laughs> Put that island there. Got a surprise for you. Get us out of here. Alright, they're down to one cruiser. Torpedoes lowered. God damn it. Our crew is on a. Our, our torpedo crew is on a lunch break. Oh my God. If, this, if this guy has torpedoes, we're kind of fucked right now. A bad feeling that was coming, but we decided to charge ahead anyway because Captain. Uh, who's our captain on this one? Anyway, Captain Shizu <laughs> Shizumoto never backs down in the face of the enemy. Just waiting for this one to end, by the way. Feel a delicious orange. I don't want to get scurvy while at sea. <laughs> dolphin him. It was the dolphin class torpedo. They're Mark Dolphins. They're Mark IV Dolphin torpedoes.
Thankfully, I didn't see any dolphins on this one. I think it was too cold for the dolphins. And dolphins are weak animals and do not like the cold. <laughs> Derby is a terrible disease and something we definitely don't want to get even if we're sinking because even though all hands except for the except for me will perish in that sinking I'll get a new ship and I need to be at top at peak performance top health stats to uh, take command of my new ship Actually, we just battle on now. As the Agano A has been complete, <laughs> and we've been given command after a, after a brief board of inquiry, we were found that we did nothing wrong, and we were actually given a medal, a medal of honor, of Navy Medal of Honor. So <laughs> we got the we got the. Uh, Golden Sharks. Action stations. Island is burning in fear. It saw us. It saw our ship was back in. Oh my God! You guys see what I see? Traitorous mammals! I am the definition of logic. Ship and destroyed somebody. Suck. We're about to be destroyed. We do not see any of these ships. Where'd you guys come from?
basically ignoring us like we're not a threat or something. cruiser but it's our fault for being in our line of fire dang, dang it someone got to it before us at least. Heck yeah. You're the greatest ship captain ever to meet. I've seen. Notice how immediately after eating an orange, we were powered up to our full potential. Department of Transportation is telling people not to wear Eclipse glasses while driving. It's irresponsible. Everyone should wear Eclipse glasses while driving, especially at night. So actually, if anyone is driving while listening to the stream, you should probably put some Eclipse glasses on. We want you safe out there on the road. people to go into lockdown because of the eclipse well you probably should because we don't want people to catch the eclipse virus suddenly people will be turning dark for about an hour a day so um yeah you should probably if you're gonna go watch the eclipse you should make sure you're wearing a proper face mask we don't want you to get sick out there. And I'm sure that uh, eventually, with hope, we will have a proper eclipse uh, vaccine very soon. We can't have people succumbing to the eclipse. Eclipses are very, are very, very contagious, John. Awaiting instructions. It's reasonable that they close schools down because, as we all know, children are the most susceptible to the eclipse. 
We, we need to protect our next generation of uh, clientologists and scientists to uh, ensure we have a future. Well, Jeff, if you want to drive around irresponsibly without wearing your eclipse glasses, that's on you, my friend. But I'm just telling our viewers that be safe out there and uh, make sure you're wearing your eclipse glasses while driving. In fact, I think uh, if you're out there driving right now, I want you just to sit back and take a moment Take your hands off the wheel and close your eyes and just uh, meditate on the fact that there is an eclipse coming. And the safest thing to possibly do is to be wearing eclipse glasses, probably at all times. Just because you never know when an eclipse is going to sneak up on you and take out your eyes. So we want you to, I want everyone to be safe. Safety first. So everyone just close your eyes for a minute, take your hands off the wheel and, and just think about it for a few, for a few minutes. You heard the, <laughs> the world was going to end after the eclipse? <laughs> it, it actually could. Um, the alignment of the sun and the moon could actually cause the moon to fracture into a bajillion pieces and rain cheese on everybody. Burying us all in a thick layer of moon gouda cheese and possibly... I think he just destroyed a bit mo uh, an island village. That's unfortunate. He also made warnings about pets. It's well known that during a an eclipse, many house pets will develop an acute case of rabies. So you got you have to be careful with your pets. The views and opinions expressed by the host of this channel is definitely those of this subscriber. Well, I thank you for your support. We need to do our best to spread the good word and to keep our keep our viewers safe and make sure that we are helping create a better world for everyone. Damn, we missed. We got, we're going to target their bridge. Oh, never mind. <laughs> they do, Thomas, so I do have a titanium cage set up. So at the moment of the, at, I think it's, I think the recommended time is one hour before the eclipse. You should make sure you're pets are inside of an electrified titanium cage they're like they're like raptors they can actually if, there's, if the fence isn't electrified they'll be able to probably just claw their way out and, or chew their way out eclipses are very dangerous for house pets you know I don't see negativity professor so that's that's just too bad so, um, I'm glad we agreed. We like to keep things positive around here.
They are very clever. I've got to keep at least... I uh, picked up a few cattle prods just to make sure that we have a way to stun them. If they start to claw their way out. Hey, Canadian Spider-Man. You're playing this game right now. You love it. You've got the Kuma. <laughs> the mighty Kuma. We, we were playing with the mighty Kuma for a while. We were up to the Kuma, I think, H. <laughs> and I skipped over the uh, other one. The uh, Mia, Mia, Miyagi. Ma, Miyagi. <laughs> no, that's not right. <laughs> that's, a, that's a character from a show. Uh, whatever the second, the one before the uh, Agano is. We just skipped over that one. Oh my god, is that the Titanic? This is a crime to fire on the, uh... <laughs> to fire on the cruiser, on the uh, cruise liner. The Mighty Bear, of course. We loved that ship. We're still getting used to the Mighty Agano. We're about to get smoked by a battleship here. We're gonna fire some torpedoes. We'll give him a full spread. And then begin evasive maneuvers. We just got our first carrier. They're kind of fun, but, um... It, uh... Kind of annoyed that I can only launch one squadron of fighters at one time. Oh, come on. At least one of these should hit. Are we fighting? Let's see what we are fighting against. Right now, we got all bots left on the other team. Which is why our evasive maneuvers are seem to be working. Otherwise, we usually would be smoked by now. This time of night, it's pretty hard to find teams that are actually full of humans. And especially at... at well, actually, we're at tier 5 now, so it's not as difficult. Like, when we were playing against the Kuma, when we were playing with the Kuma, it was usually, like, two player, two actual human players on each team, and the rest were bots. Our victory is in sight. that one a bit much. Ah! We have torpedoes again. Still firing over our hole. Still just giving us warning shots. <laughs> you are going to regret firing on the mighty Agano. Oh shit. 
Got half our hull. Torpedoes to starboard. Uh, where the hell did those come from? Turn you fat bitch. No! Shit. Damn it! <laughs> All the Japanese ones are pretty good. You can usually, I think our range now is around like around eight, tw uh, twelve or thirteen. I know Kuma was around eight or nine. Bullshit! How did you get through all those torpedoes? What the fuck? All right, at least we got destroyed and we are at victory. <laughs> Unfortunately, Captain Shizuzaka has lost yet another ship. But the Admiralty is. <laughs> we will appeal to the Admiralty. Ah, Suzuki. I was close to what his name is. Alright, go away, victory screen. No, back to All right, um. God damn it. Go away. There we go. There. Um. How do I bring up my ship stats again? Wait, man. Tech tree. Oh, we do have the. Uh, oh, that's right. We skipped over the Furutaka. But yeah, the Kuma had a pretty good, just pretty good um, range, right? Yeah, it was at 7 kilometers on the Kuma. That wasn't too bad. Uh, I know all the American destroyers are pretty are really terrible. Like all their torpedoes have like a 4 a 5 kilometer range, which is fucking terrible. Like the Yeogi, our other ba our battleship. I don't like playing with battleships. Uh, no, that's a cruiser too. Sorry, I'm an idiot. For some reason that one just doesn't have any torpedoes. That's why we haven't been using that one. But then our Agano, yeah, now we're at 12 kilometers for torpedo range. The problem is that even at 12 meter, 12 kilometers away, it's almost useless to fire from that far away, uh, unless they're like busy with other ships at the time, because they're just gonna dodge them if you're when you fire from that distance. Most of the time, I like to. Uh, Wait until they damn near come up alongside me and just release all my torpedoes at them. That's a fun tactic. Especially well, against battleships. Against some uh, destroyers, it kind of sucks doing that because sometimes I forget other ships have torpedoes and they just get me with my own trap. <laughs> Alright, after another board of inquiry, we've been cleared of all wrongdoing. Yeah, so on this one, we've got me and Julian Wolf are the only two. We're the only two uh, real players on my team. And then the other team is all bots this time. That's weird. Usually they at least uh, split it up so it's equal number of real players per team. But I've seen it a couple times where I was where it was just one real player on each team. Are we doing a co you know what, I'll check the settings too, because I thought we were on random, but I might have accidentally selected co-op also. Awaiting instructions. Head one half speed. Our ship is clear of dol oh, wait. Our ship is clear of dolphins. We are looking good. <laughs> The snow, it is the snow covered mountains of the Florida Keys. This is what's going to happen after Texas turns into the Great Sea of Texas. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. Probably, actually, you know what, Professor? That that the the Sea of Texas may start forming right after this eclipse. That might bring the tides in close enough to to start flooding the entire landscape of Texas. So I would. 
I would probably get a nice inflatable raft and put that on the roof. You might want to load up all of, your, all of your barbecue equipment now to keep that safe and dry. Get over that island. Full speed ahead. I guess the kind of good thing about having all bots on your team is I don't really have to care um, if they're getting in the way of my torpedo shots and <laughs> start firing. <laughs> Direct front. Oh no, we're in the kill zone. Come on, torpedoes, hit something. We hit the wrong ship, but we sank it. Anyway. Ship is awesome. on fire. We've destroyed an enemy cruiser. We'll, we'll take it. Oh shit, I didn't realize that guy was so close. Prepare for ramming speed. Come on, gun, stay around. Direct front. Oh, you can't get away. Oh, come on! Bullshit, we were almost at full health. We should have survived that. I mean, I was expecting to get like a half of my health taken away, but bullshit. You know what? I'm happy with it. Good job, Captain Suzuki. <laughs> you stopped that cruiser. <laughs> at the expense of your entire crew, but sometimes you have to die for the greater good. It would be kind of funny if you could launch your... Uh, fighter plane still even while sinking see look I mean we're like stuck inside of it oh man I didn't realize our ship was so explodey if this was a true American built ship it would have survived that <laughs> god damn it <coughs> You're on your own, Julian Wolf. You're gonna sail right into some torpedoes. You have a destroyer, you're super maneuverable. Why would you just... God, I think he was just too impressed at seeing my ship take out another one by ramming it. I was like, wow, that's bravery. <laughs> I was distracted by our greatness. So they ran into some torpedoes. All right, we're not gonna sit here and watch the computer battle. I don't think we're winning that one. What are we on? Number four. The Agano Sea. The Agano Sea is being... Oh, you know what? Shit. Alright, we're already in battle. We'll go the... Um, I must be on a... I must have accidentally hit the... Uh, OWAP one. So we got... Uh, at least we have almost all humans on our team this time. The Borg! The Borg are with us. <laughs> I have a good feeling about this one. Oh shit. Who put this mount who put this island right in front of us? Look at We started off in the snowy peaks of the Florida Keys. Now we're in the new Texas Ocean. We're looking out at what what's left of Fort Worth. Fort Worth Island in front of us. Awaiting instructions. Resistance is not. Oh my god. Look, those dolphins are going to beach. We're going to force them to beach themselves. Yes. Yes, dolphins. Get what you deserve.
Good luck, everyone. We forced them all to beach themselves on San Antonio Island. <laughs> Acknowledged. And we are now free and clear to navigate. Sensors indicate negative dolphins. These traitorous beasts. <laughs> we had to show them we are the true alpha sea creatures. Hold on. We'll continue that conversation in a minute, but for now, I have to teach this. Dirty Destroyer, the true moon of Christmas. Oh shit, who shot at us? Who was foolish enough to shoot at us? superiority Taught that island not to challenge us. You mean any? They're not even human, so it doesn't even count. All right, we're gonna attempt our. Attempt our greatest. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to try and get through that gap so we can just launch torpedoes at that cruiser. Alright, where's that, uh. Where's that menace of a. Carrier? It's got to be right in front of us. Get how I don't get it. The computer can obviously have more than one squadron up. Why can't I have one more than more than one squadron up at a time? It's stupid. There she is. Which one is that? There's too many. Uh, the the furious. Is that a real carrier? Really? It 
is. It's a, oh, it's a British Terrier. Alright, HMS Furious. Prepare to meet our fury. have nowhere to, no home to go to there we go yeah we got the destruct we got the we got the kill we stole it from the other guy Probably have we probably finally have some flags we can go back on. Let's open all of our containers here. Good for that. We will reset this up. Mount some bonuses. Not the only bonuses we want. Uh, exterior, right? Flags. Flags, equipment. Oh, so it's already got a bunch of signals already on it. Uh, smoke generator. No, we don't need that. Indian Delta. I might restore when using the repair. Okay, we don't have repair on the ship. Yeah, I thought we, I thought we had a bunch of like stuff attached to this. I don't know why we're still irritated by being sunk by. Um running into that ship. Uh, we're getting clo we are getting closer though to we're at 9700 uh, 9, so we're getting a little bit closer to getting that next uh, carrier I think. I think it was 11 million. I mean, I mean 11,000 or was it a million? Something stupid probably. Oh it's uh, 40,000 so never mind we're uh, about 25% of the way there almost. I like the dragon. It's cool looking. The fire dragon. <laughs> Alright, so um let's go with uh Should we try should we play with our carrier? Let's go uh let's send our carrier out for a for a battle or two. The Langley. Um, should we upgrade our hull to the B? What does that give us? Just better anti-air. Gives us a better maneuverability. This thing's kind of a brick in the water, so... Maybe. Let's see, uh, we can have signals, don't we, on it? Are we using any of these yet? Oh, no, we're not. Uh, India Yankee, fire extinguishing time. We don't need that. Flood recovery time, who cares? Damage caused by ramming an enemy. All right, we need to save those for the other ships. All right, we're gonna be 
Captain Powers. <laughs> it's not ter I mean, it's not terrible, but once you have like a couple cruisers and <laughs> bearing down on you, it's pretty much impossible to get away. At least, at least, I don't know if like maybe the uh, hull upgrade would actually help, but right now it's it's a very slow turning ship. So once like there's a bunch of torpedoes heading for you, it's almost impossible to dodge. I, I mean, if, they, if they're in close range, but I mean, if they're if you want, if you soon see them from far away, then. Yeah, you can dodge them, but the last couple of times we were sank with it. Someone sank us. They were just, they just get, they were able to get really close and fire torpedoes. A massive spread. It's like two cruisers and I think it was like a destroyer all working together. So it became just impossible to get away from. Are we close to unlocking the Farragut? I'll look at it after this one. Oh, this is... This is why we were in co-op. It's taking fucking forever again just to get into a battle. There we go. I guess that wasn't too bad. I just know sometimes at this time of night, just, well, even like with like, even in in uh, random battle, it's just me and one other person, two other people on my team. Other team has one, yeah, you know, and they have a carrier on their team too. So it's three versus three essentially, plus a bunch of bots. It's just that shitty time of night. We were, we were mainly playing with Japanese ships, and I was thinking about trying to get one of the Japanese carriers, but then we, I haven't been, I've only been playing with cruisers, cr the cruiser line with them, well, pretty much with everyone. So I just didn't feel like starting a brand new destroyer line to try and get enough to get one of the Japanese cruiser uh, carriers. All right, so let's see. We're going to take our carrier, and we'll do... We'll go... Here. Autopilot mode enabled. And we'll take this one and we'll box around again. Uh, since we suck with everything except for the torpedo bombers, we'll send those up here. It is fun being able to control your plane, so I'm going to try and avoid anti-air from that destroyer so where it come up and make a sneak attack through this island gap, mountain gap here. Pushing our engines at 100,000%. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh shit. Change of plans. I think we missed. I think we missed. Sending bombs after us? That's not good. No, they went after our battleship. Maybe we should just say screw it and go after their carrier. Oh, wait. I don't want 
get threatened by this cruiser. So, all right, we're gonna try and help these guys out a little bit. Oh, we got one. I think he did get hit. Alright, I think that cruiser's coming for us, so... We're gonna fire one of our shots from back here. guns on the damn ship, so I don't know what you want me to do about it. God, just drove right into our trip park. Torpedo. Up here, team. Problem solved, sir. Yeah, we got actually launched bombers. Right, we got one hit. Where's this ship like made out of indestructible indestructible? Oh no, lag me up. Critical engine damage! <laughs> Taking heavy damage. <laughs> the ship is on fire! Oh no. Come on, hit it! Waypoint reached. Oh my god, I think we actually hit it. Oh shit! It took us out. Alright, boys. <laughs> it's too bad you can't, you can't do, uh, put them on a suicide mission and just have them crash into the ship. We're already dead. We have nowhere to go. We might as well try and go for a high level target. Get this, uh. Get this, um. 
battleship. Ah, their carrier. Let's see if we get a little bit of revenge before we die. Stay off. I think the American carriers probably suck, so you get higher tier. Just look, they clearly have more than one squadron in the air. I, s I swear to God that help sheet was lying to us. Alright, we're looking that up right now. Uh, oh. World of Warships. Carrier squads. Guide. We'll look at that real quick. <clears throat> Tips for playing World of Warcraft Legends. Is that the mobile one? Okay, how to play new US carriers. Let's look at that. Starting with update, whatever. Oh, there, this is talking about the Independence, Yorktown, and Essex. We don't have that. Um, let's see. Up to date beginner guide for carriers. I'm a new player. Most of the carriers guides I've seen uh, online seem to be anywhere from three to five years old, blah, blah, blah. You came to the wrong place to ask that question. Is any tips in what? Anyway, set the crowns. Post is around two years old. All right, that's an old post. Um, They did. <laughs> they were obviously. Uh, <laughs> if it wasn't for the dolphins and the, the Pacific Dolphin Fleet, they would have won the Battle of Rabal. Rabal. And the Battle of Midway. <laughs> I want to play aircraft carriers in World of Warcraft. Let's see. Features of aircraft control. First press. First of all, press one key on the keyboard for opening the map. This must be old too, because I don't think that one key opens the map. Specify. Oh, God. Yeah. So we, do, we knew that. Fighter group. All right. So in, to start World of Warships on the aircraft carrier, you need to use two, three, four keys on the keyboard. Select your groups. Um, that's not true anymore. It's one, two, three. Control of torpedo bombers is done th using the three and four. That's not right, because... Okay, so it's kind of old. Just, I mean, it just tells you buttons. It doesn't say, like, how to launch of more than one squadron at once to get back once because once you launch it doesn't tell you how to get back to your carrier instead of being in direct control of your airplanes all right aircraft carriers we'll look at this one real quick okay aircraft carriers blah 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 carriers are incredibly vulnerable yeah obviously no player controlled guns only ai controlled secondary to defend while the first ship, while the first ship launched take off, takeoffs, the subsequent airborne attacks. And this is like telling us like actual history. We don't need that. Um, 
All aircraft carriers start off at tier 4 with a limited complement of fighters, attack craft, uh, dive bombers, and torpedo planes, all of which are used to take out the boat, obviously. Mm. Torpedo bombers are better suited against heavy ships, battleships, and carry heavy cruisers, battleships, and carriers. Slow torpedo should be aimed at enemies' broadside. Dive bombers are good at causing fires. There's no limit to total aircraft reserves on the long air there's not very it's not a long e rearm time either, so hmm. And it just shows like what all ships are. Um, damn it. All right, I'll look that up later. Let's go back to port real quick. Have to play with the Nicholas for a lot. We have to unlock the Nicholas first. That's that would use a pop. We still need two thousand to do that one. The ferry is at thirty-five thousand research points. After that, so we we need like forty thousand total. So basically, we'd have to get the amount to get the ferry would be the same amount to get the uh, next aircraft carrier. Independence. So we get a choice at this level. That one's pretty maneuverable. I think probably we do the independence next instead of the ranger, maybe. Survivability is 49. This one has the, but the ranger has better survivability. Probably better anti-air too, it looks like. Oh, never mind. All right, let's do one more with the uh, carrier. Captain Powers needs to get his shit together. <laughs> and do a little bit better this time with that. Directing his torpedo bombers. I'm just playing with the Japanese side, Thomas, because I want to get a Yamato someday. Or at least I think uh, I think they might have actually split the Musashi off as a as a lower tier ship. I'm not sure. I'll have to look in the tech tree again. Which is weird because it's just because that was a that was the Yamato sister ship. So it seems odd that they would make it in a separate tier, but maybe they did. I might be thinking of War Thunder. Alright, 
is taking way too long. And nobody wants to sit here and watch a stupid countdown uh, timer waiting for us to get into battle. That's why. Just, let's see real quick. Japan. No, I must be thinking of the. Uh, I must be thinking of uh, War Thunder because the one above it is the Yuzumo. Tetsuma class that never got built. Alright, let's do one of the operations again. Those are kind of fun. We'll be the Huron, the mighty Huron again. again. Like, wait. Before we do that, let's try. I've never done one of these operations with, a, operations with a battleship yet. Let's try doing that. Even though I suck with battleships. Captain Florida Man, in command of the Pen Pensacola. Wow, every other night we seem to just, when we're playing operations, we're able to get into a battle like almost immediately. Is there just nobody playing tonight? Fears are sea prowess. As they should. We're awesome with uh, cruisers. This is a small team. Hmm. What is this mission? An allied naval division has been attacked. Some ships have been destroyed, and the transport ships that were ca uh, were captured are being uh, convoyed to the enemy base now. Intercept the enemy convoy and take back the allied ships. Okay. I think this would have been better. Action stations. That's, that's probably true, John. I didn't even think of that, but what, uh, during the eclipse, the sun will, Attention. This is well, even though it's commander. hidden by the moon, it will Our reflect off the ocean, and the waves could cross, possibly throw terrible solar radiation into your retinas and destroy your cones. Roger. Your rods will be okay, but your cones are fucked. He might also be packing up his uh drill in here to keep it safe from the eclipse. I'm glad he took my advice. I just hate how long it takes for uh, the reload on battle. Jack shit. 
Oh, that, we're actually uh, being really affected by this fire. I think our coal is made of cheese. Problem solved, sir. Transport ships detected. Destroy the escorting ships. The ship is on fire. Anti aircraft gun crews are on full alert. Wait, where is my. We only have hull repair on this ship? What the hell? have hull repair. Maybe that's not something you get to use when it's Crews are on normal alert. Prepare for a collision course. Oh shit. Attention! This is Task Force Commander. I'm up against huge enemy forces. Requesting support. Roger. Aircraft proceeding to assist. Sir. I'm low in damage. I'm going to get back. Enemy cruiser destroyed. We don't get we don't get back. <laughs> this battleship doesn't run. I'm trying to get back. I need you guys to provide just a tiny bit of covering fire here so I can get the hell out of here. Guys, they just, they just stayed in the back the entire time. Cowards! <laughs> to rescue the commander of the sinking. Why don't you rescue me? It's not fair. We'll go back and forth. Yes. We're gonna play with the uh, cruiser ship. That's more fun.
this sea captain fears does not turn our backs and, and run away in battle. We also don't fear a stupid eclipse. Killer wh Operation Killer Whale. We're, we're going whaling on this mission. We've loaded all of our all of our guns with high high explosive uh, harpoons. I don't even know what this mission is supposed to be. supposed to be. What? Destroy the enemy base and retreat in the retreat. We don't retreat. Destroy enemy sports. Attack the enemy naval base from the specified directions. Oh, it's like ground. It's like a ground attack mission. I've never seen one of these before. Finally, we get to take out an island. Shoot at the one over here. Oh shit. your allies um, it's not my fault when they drive into it themselves
get credit for that. Oh, we got it. Sweet. We destroyed an enemy battleship. Oh yeah, we did. We haven't destroyed all support ships. We can't retreat. <laughs> there are, I think they were refueling each other. I think we're supposed to be heading towards that anchor, right?
Reconnaissance reporting. The second enemy reinforcement party is approaching. Engine boost activated. Torpedo, dead ahead. Destroyed. Enemy destroyer foundered. Torpedoes, direct front. Torpedoes to starboard. Dodged. their own smoke screen against them, I think. Can see you, Battleship. Critical oh, engine damage! <laughs> shit! No! Oh, I thought that it maybe would be okay in the smoke screen. Run, mighty Huron! Run! Main oh, turret shit, critically taking damaged. out our engine. Come on! Bullshit! Damn it! We, we, we don't follow ships, Thomas. We must. We we're the leader of the pack. We're the fleet commander. Get the lead from the front. Massacre. Oh shit, that's kind of the only shit monitor that got destroyed. No, it doesn't show like all that all of us. I'm not a I'm not a destroyer, but it shows like one destroyer ship destroyed. Maybe that's like the uh no, it's gotta be a clear ship. Ah. <laughs> Good show. Reconnaissance reporting. The third enemy reinforcement party is approaching. made it to be Look at that. Well, that was just that was all strategy, Thomas. It was uh the strategy was to allow to allow the fleet commander's ship to be sunk to enrage the rest of the ships and make them fight even harder. It seems to have, uh, it definitely seems to have worked. Sometimes as the commander, you must uh, sacrifice yourself for the greater good. The needs of the many and all that. The Yummy Hari is doing pretty good against this cruiser. Just firing wildly at it. You don't seem to be scoring many hits, so uh, that is, to be fair, that's a that's a shitty secondary set. Never hit. Go for a ram, yummy hard. Come on. Set a collision course with that battleship. No, Yummy Haru, you heard me. 
A collision course. Damn you, coward. Obeying orders. Fortunately, it'll probably be to your downfall now, Yummy Hari. I bet that cruiser has torpedoes. You're gonna get, you're gonna get torpedoed. Maybe not. Oh, maybe it was an aircraft carrier. Oh, look at that one. Where is this one? It's got like sparklies on its guns. I want one of these. It's got like Christmas lights on the side too. What the crap? Don't let enemy reinforcements enter the haven. Still a victory. I mean, that's all, that's all we want is a victory. You destroyed three ships. That's not bad. What was that? It was like a battle carrier. It was like a super battle carrier. What the hell was that? Let's see if we can find it. I don't even know what flag. Did it have a Pan Asia flag? I think that's what the flag was. No. Europe? Commonwealth, maybe? Liquid Twilight class, maybe. It's pretty sweet looking though. It was a bat. It was a clearly a carrier, but it also had guns on it. Preview. No, that's just a normal carrier. USA. That's it. Wait, it could, maybe it's one of these. Like. Alabama, maybe? A premium? It's probably a premium ship. No, it's just a regular battleship. Good night, John. Sleep well. And make sure you have your Eclipse glasses ready. What the hell was that? It has to be like a special ship or something. Because I'm not seeing it anywhere. Essex? Does that have guns? No, that's a normal carrier. The United States, maybe? No, also a normal carrier. I have no idea what country that was from. I wonder if... Oh, what's this? No, nope, that's also regular. Hmm. Interesting. Is there a way to like, I wonder if there's like a replay function where you can like go over the, uh, just see the results from the last battle so I can pull up the uh, player list. Captain's log book, maybe? Captain's log. We sank again. <laughs> Well, yeah, but this game's got a lot of uh, ships that were just drawing board ships and that never got built. I'm assuming it's probably one of those. Uh, ships? No. <clears throat> Dang. Oh, I wonder if in the chat will... I wanted to see what the hell. Can I make a clan? 
join a clan? Clan battles. Oh, see, we can have clan battles. Fight one on one with friends. Naval battle, what's that? There is no fixed prime time. Play at your convenience. Clans with any level of difficulty can participate. Hmm. I need what? You need a thousand gold to create a. Oh, never mind. Well, that would be fun to be able to play with friends. Um, I'm not spending money on this game to be able just to be able to make a clan. That's stupid. How much? I'm just curious of how much a thousand gold would actually cost in real world money. Auction. Super ship uh, main. A Jolly Roger class 7 commemorative flag. What is this one? Let's look at it. The auction is about to start. Just a battleship, though. It's gotta be one of these like super special ships or something. That's uh, is there like Commonwealth cruisers? Be a battleship. Now I'm just like obsessed with trying to find out what that ship was. It's probably like one of these like weird things. No, that's creator verse nonsense. You know what? We we have nine million subscribers. I think we should get a special ship too. You rewound it, it says uh, a tier 8 Nebraska. NX02. Oh, hearts in the way. Oh no, I just lost the chat. Shit. Give me a second. I just... uh, apparently, I can't click in that. It's just, there we go. There we go. <coughs> Nebraska? Really? Can we get a Nebraska? I don't even see it in the list on here. Maybe it's listed as a battleship? Alright, we're just gonna look for Nebraska. There's the Minnesota. Oh my god, is this a horrible ship? We have to see what the Minnesota looks like. It's got some big guns. It's got lots of anti-air. That looks like an all right ship. All right. We're going to say Minnesota was treated well in their depiction of what our ship would be like. Oh, the Nebraska. There it is. It looks like all these are like battle carriers or something. The Delaware and the Louisiana. There it is. It's not, it's not cool looking like the other one, though. It doesn't have like an ass ton of decorations. Oh, that's disappointing. Delaware. What does that one look like? Kind of looks just like the Nebraska, doesn't it? Oh, well, boo! Not, I mean, these are, I mean, they're probably pretty cool, but they're not nearly as impressive as the, uh, the one we saw. Maybe, maybe there's like, oh, you know what, maybe there's, you can like buy that decoration for like any ship. Maybe it's like a camouflage or something. Paint. Oh, we can be a purple ship. Well, we have one of those. We, oh, we got like the tablecloth. <laughs> the, the white ship. <laughs> hmm, what camouflage should we use? We'll use that one. Infinite camouflage. Is, oh, this is a special one. What does this special look like? Oh, it's just blocky. Blocks. We've got uh, a lunar warrior permanent camouflage. It's got dragons on it. That's stupid looking. <laughs> got the Santa flag. 
steam clang, sextant, and some anchors. Oh, if anything, we're gonna fly the Santa flag. I don't like this. Damn it! I don't like this camouflage. Oh, we're gonna use this is what we have the most of. That's ugly too, though. Let's go with the blue one. Yeah, that one's better. Now we'll be invisible to every other ship on the sea. Right, what equipment can we put on this thing? Oh, we haven't even mounted anything yet. Steering gears. That's all right. This all costs. We don't want to buy anything, so we want to save our money for the next carrier. I think. So we're only gonna use ones that we have. Um, torpedo modification. This will give us. Wait. What is this? What will this give us? Oh, we don't have any available. Um, this we do have available, I think. No, we don't. Ah, we've got a speed engine boost modification. More time and speed boost, I guess. And then we've got... Oh, we've got a couple of these. Uh, secondary battery survivability. Who cares? 70% less for chance of our magazine detonating. We haven't had our magazine detonate on this one yet, so we're going to skip that for now. <laughs> exactly. Santa Santa will strike fear in the hearts of our enemies. All right, we'll try this operation again. Hopefully we'll get the same one. Briefing. A sudden attack on the Allied aircraft carrying squadron turned out to be catastrophic. All escort ships were lost, uh, and the aircraft carrier Raptor was badly damaged. Extensive, extensive damage incapacitating the ship. Your task is forces ordered to find the carrier, repair the ship, and escort, and escort her from the danger zone. Uh, escort the ships to the carrier Raptor. Take out the carrier. Take the carrier out of the zone. Hmm. Boo. This one sounds kind of boring. There's the ranger. We need to find a raptor. Full speed ahead. Attention, task force commander. Escort the support ship and floating workshop to the carrier. Over. Maybe we should stay with the group. Attention, engineer. Restore the carrier to operational condition. Attention, arsenal and aviator. Deliver ammunition and resupply the Raptor's air group. Over. <coughs> maybe it's the Ranger. Maybe they meant to say Ranger and they just spelled it wrong. <laughs> enemy force detected. All stations. Quick defeat of enemy forces is key to success. Send them all to Davy Jones fast. Don't fire at your allies. All right. It's not my fault. They literally were on my ass. Like, scraping up. They sideswiped me. How is that my fault? How about you tell the other player not to ram your ally?
Attention ship and squadron commanders. Pay special attention to torpedo defense. right here. Well, I mean, the Raptor seems to be back at full strength. Oh, it's still repairing. 20 seconds to repair. Ammunition dispatched. Nine seconds. Raptor, task force commander here. Working on an optimal route for you. Proceed due southwest. This is Hector. Enemy aircraft carrier detected. Destroy her. It's crucial for the squadron. Attention, squadron commander. According to reconnaissance data, one more enemy aircraft carrier is likely to remain in the combat zone. Seek and destroy. Seeking and destroying now. Engine boost activated. Problem solved, sir. Sacrifice will take on this stupid aircraft here. Torpedoes, dead ahead. 
Ah, shit. Oh, well. Once again, sacrifice ourselves for the greater good. Come on, torpedoes, hit something. It's dumb you they don't let us see the ship anymore after we die. Come on. It looks like it's probably on track to get something. All right, we got one hit. Kwanzaa bot. The cruiser Santa was destroyed. Tried taking out. We tried. We were the only one following orders, attempting to destroy the carrier. How to and Tatsu. No. Second, we could have just. I guess we could have uh, ignored orders too and outran the the uh, raptor to the uh, rendezvous point. Christmas is over. However, Santa did deliver two lethal packages at least for meeting his demise. Quantabot is about to take a torpedo hit. Just misses. Unfortunately, that one's not going to be so lucky. Yeah, one ship is pushing another battleship. And then another one's about to go in for the uh, ram and kill. <laughs> Demolition Derby on the sea, apparently. Oh, it's a Maya. God. <laughs> that, that, someone needs to pull that uh, battleship over. And <laughs> oh, and that cruiser over and uh, do a field sobriety test. He's just run into everybody. There's that enemy carrier that nobody cares about. Ugly paint job. What are you a Liberty? A Liberty ship? Aren't you just like a? Oh, that's yeah, I was gonna say, aren't you just a support ship? What are you doing here? Um, the Arsenal ship. Uh, <laughs> cinema, cinema, cinema roll. Lost the carrier. See, that's what happens when you disobey orders and don't go. Out. Oh my God, we had a battleship firing on one of our own. But that's what happens when you disobey orders and refuse to go destroy the carriers they wanted us to.
All right, I think we're gonna go back to co-op just because it's faster at lower tiers to get into battle and go back to the you know we never play with the meal game we should, we should try it a couple times yeah weird anime girl is captain <laughs> She has glasses. We'll call her Captain Anime Specs. See, I mean, it is funner. It is funner. It is more fun playing in the random battles, but this take at this time of night, it just take way too long to get into to get into it. Oh shit! It's a battleship. I forgot. Oh well, at least we're built, this one's at least built for ramming. Shit, we should have stuck a Santa flag on this one too. Full rudder. This thing was really look how slow this thing turns. Where's the reload time on this? Where's your fire at this mountain here? Twenty-five seconds per reload. Jesus Christ. She probably is. It's it's hard to get these captains to to stop playing games. And, oh shit! I didn't mean to fire twice. I was trying to stagger my shots so we always have one available at least. There, that's a better target for us. Come on, is that too much? Destroyed it in one hit. Oh wow, I didn't even see this cruiser. Come on guns, I need you to hurry up and track. Come 
Come on. Load, damn it. have a 50% hull. We should be fine if we decide to go for a ram. Or should we just ram the carrier? Surprise! Got the carrier in our sights. We're going for it. It's the last ship standing. Setting a collision course. I guess we can shoot our guns. <laughs> Damn it, don't don't steal our glorious <laughs> damn it. <laughs> ah fine. Uh, <laughs> you fuckers. You stole our glorious ramming strategy. We're gonna ram into a ship at least once tonight. I don't care if it's. So on this one, we have to uh, go to full speed right ahead, right away, because in these waters, we're, da we're in danger of being surrounded by the dolphin force. Cetacean spies are off our bow, are off our bow. Alright, should we go carrier hunting and just be a <coughs> and just go on our uh there it is. Alright, the carrier's gonna be in this direction. Eh, 
Hey, Arabic. Different carriers. Like we're gonna ignore everybody else. I guess since they're firing on us, we should probably return fire. How the hell did you miss that? What the hell? I wasn't even close. Oh my god, bullshit. Now we're just getting pounded by this. Alright. Uh, activate torpedo mode. It's going for the kill, because we're about to die anyway. We're taking this battleship out with us. another shot of something that's literally right in front of you. Come on, secondary guns. Take them out before we have to ram the son of a bitch. You're not getting away this time. Oh my god, it got away. <laughs> son of a bitch. Good because now it has to turn its guns around to hit us. I don't think it's gonna have time. Oh shit, it's gonna turn it fire. You just shot it in the ass. Come on, guns. I'm lucky you do a little bit of damage here. There we go, fine. <laughs> Tanky ship. Soak up a lot of shells. Alright. 
We have the carrier in sight. That's what we're going after. Cruiser over there, though. It's probably gonna get to it before we do. ship standing and there's too many ships over there unfortunately we're not going to get there in time <laughs> that destroyer took it out with a ram. Good on you, destroyer. <laughs> they took <laughs> they took lessons from a master. I've, I've taught you all I could. You're now ready to be a true warrior on the sea. I don't like that shit. All right, Captain Suzuki, you're back up. <laughs> Random Asian chick picture. Okay. <laughs> someone's someone's bullying me. <laughs> Good luck and fair seas. Probably, it's probably Jeff. Jeff's texting me random Asian chick pictures. This is revenge for all those arguments he's lost. What? Oh, on my phone. What the hell? Ah, the game's afoot, eh? Got that destroyer. Totally at the wrong 
buttons now are all screwed up. Incapacitated it. Taken out its guns. And we've taken out its post controls. Gotta be careful about that. I know, it's just, it's the mark of death, it's a final act of desperation. Team is taking the lead. It's terrible. Torpedoes, direct front. Oh no. They got the, they got off one last shot that they missed. While that battleship is preoccupied with everyone else, we're gonna try and sneak up on it, torpedo it. I want to reveal my position. It doesn't say we're detected yet, but I feel like we should just fire on it. And now we're detected. Wait, does that battleship have torpedoes? What battleship has torpedoes? I've never seen that before. Pretty sure that's where that, that where those came. Oh, there must be a cruiser over there. Oh, yep, there is. Too bad they didn't at least uh, make it so 
when you like shot a uh, building like that, it just exploded. It'd be nice if they exploded. Our victory is in sight. Where is their final battleship? That's the question. Oh, they're at sea. Where the hell is sea? I don't think we'll get there in time. But we won the we won the battle, so I guess it doesn't matter. It's it's a shame when we leave survivors and witnesses behind <laughs> to cover up my war crimes. <laughs> ah, what? Did you just run aground? Fire that helmsman. Victory is ours once again. And <laughs> amazingly, Captain Suzuki has survived the battle. Alright, um. I will be right back, guys. Guys, I almost forgot. I have some kind of bad news. Um, I was, <laughs> I was playing. Um, well, I, I, I jumped into some uh, medieval, 
Dynasty last night when I couldn't sleep, and I was just screwing around in one of the co-op worlds. And I accidentally oversaved the uh, single game player game we were playing on accident because I was I'm an idiot. Um, so we lost that. So <laughs> thought that was kind of an oops. I was really pissed last night. But unfortunately, we don't get to see our baby grow, our baby Odo grow, and become a great constable in our village. But that's too bad. I was de I was debating whether or not to, I know Oh no was right. That sucked. I was really mad at myself. So I was debating whether or not I'm gonna restart a regular single player game. But I think if we just play that game, we'll just uh, play with one of the uh, co-op worlds instead. So I don't want to go back. I don't know if I want to start in the valley again. It's just not enough uh, stuff to do in, in the valley. So maybe we'll just start playing in the, on the Oxbow map. Or I suppose if I do go into the main story mode again, I could just um, jack up the experience so up to like a thousand. So it would just bring us back to pretty much where we were anyway. But that's a lot of work to get village started again. Who <laughs> was the baby mama anyway? It was uh, Minister Jaro after. After failing to take over Bajor, he was forced to uh, get a sex change and was sent back in time to medieval time, <laughs> medieval the medieval era, and uh, we married her. Sorry, Jeff. Your, your grandson has been has been lost. Your godson, I mean, grandson. That'd be weird. Damn it! That mountain's in the way. Cruiser coming to challenge us. That's a mistake. Torpedoes away. Oh, way off. Our team has taken the lead. Our victory is in sight. I guess we'll go after the battleship, maybe. Since it looks like it's preoccupied with everything over here. Now we should be able to get behind it and surprise it. Maybe. Oh, never mind. It's pretty far away. We're going pretty slow here. There she is. Battleship. Turn, turn. Oh, shit. Damn it, 
We just got we just got a new paint job. Well, on the good side, I uh, still can't fire because we're gonna end up getting it. Alright, we're just gonna Our make a full turn inside. here. <clears throat> Come on, bring your ass around. To oh my god, where'd those come from? We're hold below the water line. We're flooding quickly. Problem solved, sir. <laughs> that was there's no there's nothing that could have fired that. There's clearly a dolphin underwater that fired those torpedoes. Bullshit. Those things are everywhere. Oh, I think we're gonna hit that cruiser. Revenge is sweet, bitch. Our victory is in sight. <laughs> Enemy cruiser foundered. Alright, make sure you get to the fire. I'm not aiming at him, so we're good. Continue on course. Target their bridge. Ship is on fire. Problem solved, sir. Oh, we've got torpedoes available. Come on. Turn. Turn. Bye, battleship. Captain Suzuki. It survives a second battle. Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? I think, I think Suzuki should get a promotion. He's now Admiral Suzuki. Champion is right. We've we sheer we we're clearly in the running now for the uh, chrysanthemum medal. Captain Sea Log. The Agano has been repaired and is off to its third battle. The Agano D, I think we're up to.
<laughs> Excuse me while I celebrate our last victory with a handful of nuts. Did it say ang Did it say enemy battleship sighted or angry battleship sighted? We'll help out this battleship. Alright, we disabled its torpedo system. that island a lesson by ramming it. And it just torpedoed an island too. Excellent. Good shoot, Captain. Our turn. Although well, we are going to try avoid hitting an island. Ship is on fire. Problem solved, sir. Oh my god, we got like nine hits on that thing. Awesome. Enemy battleship sunk. See you later, battleship. Admiral Suzuki has clearly learned his lessons from previous battles. Is now oh shit. Clearly has not learned his lesson of looking behind him. and hit the island but we're okay damage was light Our team is hello taking the lead. greetings I have a present for you I think you'll like it What it, I'll just say, what it got through that. What it did get through that. Bullshit. <laughs> hmm. 
Victory is ours. I feel like, um, we got a little bit cheated with the torpedo hits because I'm pretty sure we hit that battleship more than three times. I'm a little surprised that cruiser was able to get through six torpedoes. That's a little insane. this time. Destroy all ships and capture the base. It's another dangerous area. Lots of cetacean activity in this in these islands. They tend to want to hang out in the center of these circle of islands. See, look, we're in the middle of the fleet this time, too. We're clearly the we're clearly the flagship of this fleet. Action stations. Awaiting instruction. We'll let our minion fleet ships uh detect the enemy and we'll give orders from behind. It is good that it's that storming out. Dolphins, we, everyone knows dolphins don't like the storms. They don't like rain. <laughs> they don't like to get rolled. They don't like to get wet. <laughs> the rain tends to get inside their blowholes. And it, uh... Poses a drowning risk. Which group should we join? Try and get in front of this battleship so we so we can basically just fire a salvo of torpedoes th into this uh, into the center of this island area. Let's overtake this battleship. Ships a lot faster than I thought it would be. Fine. If you want to go ahead of us, get ahead of us. Hurry up. Stupid island is in the way. Target their bridge. Oh my god.
got him. Oh my god. Oh no, we just fell into our own trap. <laughs> no, Suzuki! Abandon ship! All hands remain at battle stations. The Admiral is departing. No, Suzuki. You were doing so well. Who did you fall to? You fell to an Omaha. Goodbye, Agano D. We barely knew you. Avenge me, guys. Take out that cruiser. <laughs> At least all our classified documents went down with the ship. Should we observe the battle from a bird's eye view? They've got the the battleship. Where are you? The battleship Iron Duke and a crossfire. The third ship is coming to join. Another Agano. Of the lesser one. Oh, it's like all Iron Dukes and uh, Japanese ships. There's the, the one low in Omaha. Mighty Congo. That's what I mean. I used to. Ha um, I think I don't know if we. I think I sold the Omaha. Yeah, like we sold the Omaha, so we could. It was one of the ships we sold, so we get the could get the um, submarine. But I didn't like it because its torpedo range was so incredibly, incredibly low. You had it was almost all. <clears throat> if you weren't within like five kilometers. It was almost always a guaranteed miss. And once you got in with, and once you get in, with, in within five kilometers, you just start getting pounded by secondary guns. And um, didn't seem to have it. Didn't seem to have that great of armor protection. Although he's doing pretty good with it. I think they're pretty good against, um, well, like, other cruisers and destroyers, but if you got hit with, uh, like, one shell with, from the battleships, it'd basically take you out. Especially if they were able to get a Citadel hit, it would just, you'd be one shot with the Omaha. Now, at least that was my experience with it. Oh, we're about to have a collision at sea here. Alright, the Omaha turns in time. Down to their last cruiser. I don't see it. There she is. It's that stupid Agano that killed us. Wait, no, we got killed by an Omaha. Never mind. Shell battle on. We'll do one more here. Probably, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe call him right here after this one.
Actually, we'll do one more of these, and then we'll do one more of the operations, probably, and then call in the night. It's like the same. Oh, never mind. T twenty two. It's not a sub, is it? No, it's not. All right, it's a destroyer. Okay. Battle starts. I thought the T twenty two was a tank. All the tanks make good battleships. Agano E's mated voyage. Sighted on the horizon. <coughs> I always forget about these airplanes. I mean, they're fighters, but I guess they're useful in at least locating where enemy ships are before they're in range. Might as well send it up. Destroyed an enemy cruiser. Oh, yeah, we did. Torpedoes to start. Argano E may have a successful first battle.
fire right when he comes out. I think we're going to try and get around this island to surprise him. Our victory is in sight. Oh shit, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Oh, well, I think we'll be okay. Gives us time to re uh, reload our torpedo bays. Run, Suzuki, run! Our victory is in sight. Take evasive action, Suzuki. He's got bigger problems with two other ships coming in, so... We'll, instead of running, we'll make the turn and stay in the fight. Seconds we can fire again, but I think he's making a run for it. No, turn like right in. Oh, shit, we too many friendlies on the way though. And it'll be destroyed before our couple of can get there. Ours. 
The, the mighty Agano E passes its shakedown battle. <laughs> you know, the Japanese know it. Don't believe in shakedown cruises. We take them right, right into shakedown battles. Alright, let's do one more operation and then probably call it a night here. Get the mighty Huron one last time. Operation Arai. Hopefully this mission won't go awry. I always forget to see what our cap who the captain of this ship is. We'll call him Ship Commanders. Suppress um, enemy resistance. Provide cover for the convoy. We need to think of a ship uh, captain name for our Mighty Huron. Hopefully not. You gotta be careful when working with large barbecue pits like he does. But I mean, then again, you don't become a pit master without uh, learning some safety tips on how to not burn yourself. stuck on the wreckage. <laughs>
Attention. Enemy transport ships detected. Destroy the enemy transport ships. We have room to fire these torpedoes without hitting one of our own ships. It doesn't look like we have to anymore. Which is this target? Alright, we'll fire at this guy. Hopefully our own teammates won't get in the way. Shit. Engine damage! Engine boost activated. Oh no, we're just boosting ourselves into the island. That's not good. Yeah. God damn it, you're on. No! No, things were going so well. That we are gonna try again. Out. We can't end on a loss like that. That was terrible. We didn't sink anybody. If Captain Suzuki was here, he would have been the pride of the fleet. <coughs> feel good about this one. This time we are, um, no one at all. Project pursued by Japanese scientists. Oh no. Grandpa, <laughs> we're coming for you. All warrior warships must protect something. Oh, probably these, uh, maybe we're on the Japanese side. That group of transport aircraft arriving at the base defend the, the aerodrome until embarkation is finished and the aircraft leave the base. Squadrons. Strike aircraft will ensure support during the embarkation and evacuation on transport aircraft. Warship commanders, clear the most direct route for the aircraft in the specified sectors. Enemy force sighted on the horizon. I don't know if we're supposed to just maybe charge into battle. I think that we probably should, it's probably like best to like destroy these ships as fast as possible. Alright, we got one down. Could be on a collision course. Let's give them a hard 
time. That clear line of fire, we might as well send some torpedoes their way. Successfully evaded several shots. Good for us. Shit, we've been hit. Critical engine damage. Engine boost activated. Boost, get the hell out of here. Solved, and get back with the fleet. Ah, shit, they forgot our torpedoes. One minute until we can fire anything off of that, except for guns, so... Clearly disabled. Oh, we have a... We have a... You. There we go. Working on getting back. We're almost there. Come on. We got this. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a waste of a shot. Alright, we'll get this guy instead. Engine boost deactivated. Hopefully. We didn't get credit for it. That sucks. <laughs> That's a fast one. Shit, our steering is broken. Damage. There we go. Problem solved, sir. And our steering is broken again. Just great. Critical engine damage. Shit. What the hell? These operations are difficult tonight. 
The last time we did them, we did, it was pretty easy. We won every one of them. And survive. Who's everybody else? I think I just probably got way, way too far away from everybody. Everyone seems to be like staying on the, that side of the uh, islands. That's probably the best strategy. <laughs> we didn't have any fear. We just charged into battle. We heard the call to glory and we could not turn away. giant eagle on it. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I, I would like a giant eagle on my ship. Get back. All right, we can't end on that. We need to at least sink one ship. It's bullshit. We, I mean, we were scoring a bunch of hits, but we never got the kill shot, which is not ideal. Strawberry, stop it. Don't chew on that. All right, I have to go yell at the bunny. I'll be right back. Give the chubby bunnies a treat. I hope that, that means she'll stop chewing on the plastic. Puppy pad. Alright, our task is to destroy enemy forts and bases. We got this. get the kill shot on any of these. Stay with these two ships, or at least try to. Incoming destroyer.
all stations. Concentrate fire on the target. Maybe we should haul ass and um, try and get those ships before they leave their ports. They're all still sitting there. Maybe that's a good strategy. Where's our engine boost? Too? Engine boost activated. ships have cloaked. Time we're gonna follow orders. Nice work. Oh, 
Although we could go to and uh, work on the secondary ones. Because what they're going to have the battleship Fury and Dono will come in soon. I think they come from that direction. Yeah, because we're there to have two reinforcement. Oh, there it is. Came from a different spot this time. They knew exactly where we were coming from. Position's been betrayed again. problem. <laughs> Shit happens. Reconnaissance reporting. The second enemy it's not like I saw them coming either, so I can't really be that pissed off about getting rammed. Alright, we are not going to open fire. We're gonna let the, that ship get take on take on all the shots. I think he's. I think that battle is probably. Yeah, it's not focused on us, so we are gonna just get kind of close and then fire some torpedoes here. Engine, yeah, engine boost boost. activated. Trying to close within a distance so they can't dodge. I think that's good enough. Alright, I think that's probably good enough. Oh shit, I didn't even see this destroyer. Good. Haha, uh -huh. you finally correctly dodged. Main turret critically damaged. Enemy cruiser detected. Torpedoes to port. Ah, uh, we it's sank it. Something. Problem solved, sir. <laughs> That's not good. Ship is on fire. Oh, 
my choice. Concentrate fire on the designated target. in five minutes. Engine boost activated. We've done what we can. Time to time to get the hell out of here. Reconnaissance reporting. The fourth enemy reinforcement party is approaching. Gotta get to the rendezvous point. Huron must survive. We actually we at least sank, sank something this time, so that's good. Those guys refuse to give up the battle. They're ignoring orders to retreat. Oh no, they got into the haven. We have to get to this circle before the time runs out, otherwise we fail the mission. We lose half the operational ships. Uh oh. We're gonna fail the mission because everyone's not heading there. Engine boost deactivated. All forces provide cover for that target. congratulating me <laughs> they knew I was the uh, champion of the entire round <laughs> all right guys well um all right yeah we actually we got we, we made our we got our objective we won the mission and we actually sank a ship so I guess we can actually end the night now <laughs> all right so anyway guys thanks for a lot for hanging out um yeah tomorrow I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, don't exactly know when. It probably it's definitely gonna be a little bit earlier. I just ended up. I uh, well, I was just feeling really, really just out of it most of the day, so that's why I didn't uh, get on until later on this evening. But uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get on sometime during the afternoon tomorrow. So I'll see or later today. So I will see you guys later. Have a good night and yeah, see ya. Bye. Remember. 
And remember, <laughs> when you're driving, make sure you wear your Eclipse glasses. <laughs> That's so stupid.